In the superior mixer, there are microphone channels, bus channels, and output channels, and you can show and hide these channels with these convenient buttons to the right. There are two ways to get audio to these bus channels, and each is used for a different reason. The first way is simply called busing. This is when you set the output of a microphone channel in Superior Drummer to the bus of your choice. For instance, if you wanted all of the kick drum microphones to be bussed to one single stereo channel, you'd set their outputs to a bus. I'll use bus 1-2 in this case. This allows you to control the volume of the three kick channels with one single fader. You can also process this single kick bus with the effects in Superior Drummer. When you have the kit fully bussed out, suddenly it becomes easier to mix because you're no longer worrying about 18 individual channels, you only have a few buses. And you can always make fine-tune adjustments to the individual channels as you go. The second way to get audio to the buses is by using the send controls. Sending to a bus is different than busing because you're able to control the percentage of the signal that you want to send to the bus channel. There are also some unique options that are only available in Superior Drummer and are completely impossible in the real world. The first control that you'll see is the send level. This is where you decide how much of the signal you want to send to a bus channel. But Superior Drummer also gives you the option to send both the direct and microphone bleed separately or only one or the other. It's also really useful if you want to create a parallel compressed drum bus. When doing this, it may be beneficial to send only the direct signal from the mic channel so that the bleed does not become overbearing in the mix. Also, since you're using sends, you can control the volume of each instrument that you're sending to the compression bus, which again is helpful because you most likely want the kick, snare, and toms driving the compression bus more than the cymbals. You can also choose to send the signal to the bus channel before it is processed by any effects that are on the microphone channel, after the effects, or after the fader. This is really useful if you want to have two different types of processing on a channel or a group of channels. For example, you could use this for parallel processing on the snare. Let's say that on your snare channels, you have a normal tight snare sound that you've dialed in with the transient control, and you want it to sound natural so you have all of the bleed turned on. But what if you also want a squashed compression channel for the snare with no bleed? In this case, you would use a send and set it to pre-effects. In this example, 100% of the signal is being bussed to output 3-4, and I also have the direct snare signal with no bleed being sent to bus 5-6 for the parallel compression.